Welcome to the information session of Certificate 3 in Tourism. Through this information session, we will also be looking at a couple of skill sets that we run here at Drysdale. The group of teachers here at Drysdale are very enthusiastic and passionate about our tourism industry. It is one of the most exciting industries that you can work in with a huge diverse range of jobs. It is constantly changing, so it's very hard to get bored in our industry. The career options are endless for people working in the tourism sector. It's a very exciting and dynamic industry. Some areas that you could end up working in is a tour or attraction operator, in a winery, distillery and local producers, airlines and transport companies, booking and information centres, cultural and heritage sites, festivals and events, social media and tourism marketing, the list goes on and on. Our tourism industry here in Tasmania are looking for tourism professionals that enjoy engaging with people and are passionate about their industry. We here at Drysdale will provide you with the skills to work in businesses such as tour operators, attractions, visitor information centre, cultural and heritage site and tourism businesses. There is a huge increase in the hotel industry happening at the moment all across Tasmania. So we also give you those skills to work in a hotel. The course information coming for 2022 is we will be starting our classes on the 7th of February. It goes for approximately 16 weeks. It is a full-time course. We have four contact days and one study day per week. Usually that study day is to catch up on work that you need to complete and also get some industry experience. The Search 3 in Tourism consists of 15 units. That's four core units and 11 electives. We do a mix of online learning and practical sessions on our campuses and we do lots and lots of excursions and industry familiarisations. Our Cert 3 tourism offering in Launceston and Devonport focus on skills required for events and festivals, day tour operations, wine, cellar door and distilleries, responsible service of alcohol and first aid training. Our Certificate 3 in Tourism offered in Hobart includes a combination of skills that focus on a broad range of visitor economy roles. These are customer service, events and festivals, day tour operations, accommodation services and social media management. The next slide is a video from Tourism Tasmania and it's our latest marketing campaign called Make Yourself at Home. I'd like you to sit back and relax for the next minute and a half and watch this video and hopefully it ignites or continues to ignite some passion you have for our visitor economy.
often get asked what kind of careers are out there once someone has completed their certificate three in tourism. Now the tourism industry is very diverse and here's some examples here that you might be familiar with. So the tourism industry, our first one is events. So we've got Festivali up north and we have Dark Mofo down south of Tasmania. So both these events are run here on the island and we're very lucky enough to be involved in these through our Certificate 3 in Tourism. Another one is tour guiding. So think Holly Bank Tree Top Adventures uh, just outside Launceston and Port Arthur Historic Site down on the Tasman Peninsula. So these are workplaces that really enjoy having our students work with them. The middle one is wineries and distilleries. So we think of Joseph Cromie or Frogmore Creek Winery and students often get jobs here and they're standing talking about the wines and the style of the wines and also giving the guest some information about the local attractions. We obviously have travel and booking agencies and these are people like our visitor centres or our flight centres. So they may be booking a guest to go and see an attraction or to stay in accommodation. We also have the hotel and reservations area. So we, do, we think about hotels, accommodation providers, B&Bs, you know, hotel grand chancellors, also places like the Spirit of Tasmania. So we provide you with all the skills and knowledge re required to work in all these areas. So what can you expect if you are going to study a Cert 3 in Tourism with us here at Drysdale? We work with other students in a team environment. At Drysdale we also have hospitality, guiding, cookery, butchery, bakery. So you get to actually experience a wide range of other students. We participate in online learning and online training um, and we also attend campus. So there's a mixture of the both. We obviously get out and about a lot and we get to explore our wonderful state, Tasmania. We network with industry professionals. So you get access to the movers and the shakers out there. We also bring guest speakers into Drysdale, so you can also hear from them in a close one-on-one -on -one setting. We apply the research and study skills to real life business cases, and we prepare you to be job ready. Not only do we have the full qualifications at Drysdale, we also offer skill sets here at TAS TAFE. And the three run by our team are the front office experience, the visitor experience and day tours. So all three skill sets go for approximately three weeks. And again, it's a mixture of on campus and online learning. The front office experience looks at the hotel reservation system and we use RMS as do many hotels in Tasmania. The visitor experience really embeds you into our industry and local knowledge. So you can come out of that course feeling very confident about what is on offer in Tasmania. And the third one, our day tours, is getting you feeling very comfortable taking tours. And we also use the silent sound system. So you can also use some tech involved in that as well. So by now you're thinking, how do I apply? What is required for me to come to, to Drysdale? So first of all, you need a passion for people and tourism. We often get told by industry, they can teach skills, but we want passionate people. So that's the very first one. A second one is a positive attitude. We're in the service industry. We're here to make people have a good time. So we want to be able to provide that really positive experience for them. You have to be enthusiastic to learn more about Tasmania, our beautiful island. You have to have a willingness to learn. And the last two is to enrol. Applications must be submitted online at TAS TAFE website. And obviously you have to have access to a computer and reliable internet connection. And certainly 
the events over the past couple of years has seen us need that more and more. On the TASTAFE website, it lists all the relevant information you need to know about all the different course fees and associated costs. These might include online learning materials, uniforms, excursion fees and the like. Applications for our courses open up on our website on the 8th of November this year. All you need to do is go and visit our website Go to the apply and enrol page and watch our applying at TASTAFE presentation. After you have submitted your application, keep an eye out on your emails as we will advise the outcome of your application or if we need further information from you. At TASTAFE, we take student support very seriously. Once you're a student here at TASTAFE and you need assistance or support, do not hesitate to get in contact with one of our student counsellors or disability liaison officer. They offer a range of student services, including support with additional literacy and numeracy, study skills, advice about financial assistance, counselling, disability support, or even career planning. It is easy to make an appointment and we can show you more information once you're enrolled. That concludes our formal presentation and now we'd love to answer some of your questions. We're going to go through the chat box and see what questions we have in front of us. Um, and if there's any further questions, we will be taking them now. Okay, so we've got a few questions here, which is great. Um, our first one, um, we have a question about work placement. So work placement we do undertake here with our Cert 3 in Tourism, and it really gives you an opportunity to get out into industry and look at the different areas on offer. And by the time work placement comes around, it's usually you've got enough knowledge um, to participate in really some, some interesting work out there. Um, a lot of places we go to, like the information centres, but we also get heavily involved in places like Dark Mofo, Festival of the Voices, um, Festival Valley up north, um, many markets and things as well. So definitely, absolutely, you're out there with industry um, experiencing that. Uh, our next question here is, um, yeah, are you out in industry? So yes, we have those work placements, but we also take you along to events. So it might be some networking events, um, ones like Destination Southern Tasmania down in Hobart. We take you along where you actually get to meet the, um, the workers of that industry and, you know, informal chats. Um, find out what their business offering is, you get an opportunity to spruik yourself um, and also find out more about what's happening in our industry. So industry network events, we also do a lot of for meals, which is familiarisations of um, offering. So it might be going into a hotel and checking out what they have on offer. It might be going down and looking at a cruise and seeing what that cruise is about. So yes, you're constantly out and about mixing, um, mixing in the industry, meeting the people. Uh, and we've got another question here about the cost. So all of our fees um, are on our website. So you are uh, more than welcome to have a look at that. Every student's different whether you have any concession cards um, that can greatly reduce your fees. So it's a case by case basis. So if you have any um, questions that relate to you, by all means, please get in contact with us and we're more than happy to have a chat. So that concludes our presentation. Oh, I've just got one more question that's popped up about uh, further study. So yes, Cert 3 is the beginning for us here at TASTAFE at Drysdale, but you are more than capable of going through to an advanced diploma at the end of your Cert 3. So you complete your Cert 3 and then we have uh, the advanced diploma in travel and tourism and also hospitality. 
and that gives you another 12 months of really studying what it's like to run a business and be a business. So we look at um, marketing, HR, h &S, budgets, etc. There is an information session on that also available. Um, and then we have an articulation program with UTAS, which means that if you've done an advanced diploma with us here at Drysdale, you actually can um, jump into a Bachelor of Business at UTAS and you get credit towards, towards that qualification. So yes, that's our formal presentation wrapped up. Um, please, as I said before, get in contact with us directly if you have any further questions. Otherwise, hopefully we look forward to seeing a lot of you uh, come February 2022. There is just a short web um, email address there, drysdale.sth at tastafe.tas.edu.au, where you can actually send more information. Thanks very much for joining us.